Okay, for this course, we are going to be working with the code in the code base here on GitHub. You can see the URL at the top of the screen that is Spring Framework Guru slash KBE dash SB for Spring Boot dash microservices. So this is the repository that we will be working with uh, in this course. We're not going to be getting into a lot of details here, but I, I do want to point this out. You can see if things are kind of like ready-made. This is like a ready-made project that we're going to be working with. Again, the, the focus of the course is on deploying to Kubernetes, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. But I do want to orient you to the uh, code base itself. So this is the uh, GitHub repository. I'll be uh, putting a link to this in the course resources as well. And let me toggle over to IntelliJ now, and we'll do a quick uh, code review of what's going on here. Okay, I'm over in IntelliJ here. Uh, what we have is a multi-module uh, Maven project. You can see here I've got a num number of uh, properties set up for the project. I'm not going to go through this, but we are setting up uh, using uh, Mapstruck, Project Lombok, as well as the Fabricate plugin for Docker to actually produce the Docker images. Uh, we have two things set up. One module is the KBE Brewery Gateway. I found that between the stuff bringing in for the Spring Boot microservices and the Spring Cloud components, I ran into some dependencies issues. So I separated those out. So uh, the Gateway, the Spring Boot Gateway project is here. So this sets up uh, all the, the stuff that we need for the uh, gateway module. And this is going to be building into its own Docker image. And then we have our Spring Boot microservices. Uh, we are dealing with four of them to be precise. So we have the, the beer service, the inventory failover service, the inventory service, and then the uh, brewery order service. So these are uh, four different Spring Boot microservices. And again, using the Fabricate uh, Maven plugin, uh, we are uh, able to build all these into independent Docker images. Uh, we see here the uh, four Spring Boot microservices do have a common Maven Palm. So if you're not very familiar with Maven, uh, just to, to recap, so I have a, a parent level POM. This defines two modules. So we have the brewery gateway, SB services, the SB services. Again, that is its own module. And in that module, we can see that we have the four spring boot microservices defined. So if we were doing this as a, a real microservices project in an industry, all these would be in separate GitHub repositories. So the gateway and all the four Spring Boot microservices should have their own repository. But for the person, of course, it's much more convenient to bring everything together and configure Apache Maven to build everything for us. Now, the uh, one thing that I do want to point out, I have this uh, K8 temp. That is going to be deleted eventually. That is my working directory for deploying to Kubernetes. And then finally, we do have uh, Docker Compose. And this sets up everything that we need to bring up the entire system, MySQL, Elasticsearch, Kibana, Filebeat, JMS, and then the four services plus the gateway service. And I'll be demonstrating this in a separate video. Here, I just wanted to orient you to the actual code base. I'm not going to be going through the all the Spring Boot microservices themselves. There's quite a bit of code there. Again, this is copied over from my Spring Boot microservices course, where I, I take everything step by step. But I uh, got some pretty interesting examples as to how those work. And we're going to be focusing on deploying with it. And you can see here in the compose file, we are setting up a number of environment variables to get everything up and running. And I'm going to be detailing this in an upcoming lesson.